We've got a JEE advanced physics question. This one's on ideal gases and it's taken from the 2020 paper two and it's question number six. So the first thing we wanna do when we're problem solving is to take stock of all the information that we're given, make a diagram, sort out that information, get clear, and then your problem solving's gonna be much more effective. So pause the video, make a diagram of the information that you're given in the problem and get clear about what the problem is asking. And then come back and see how I sorted out the information. So you know this distance here is four meters and it's four meters here as well. You know the gases are the same in each half. They're both at 300 K, they're both 0.1 mole. And since the two volumes are the same, the two pressures have to be the same. There'd be, call it a P1 pushing upwards, and then there'd be a P2 pushing downwards. Those two would be the same size. The other thing that's involved is the weight of this platform here. So there's a force pushing down on the platform of mg 8.3 times 10, or 83 newtons pushing downwards. And that's being balanced off right now because there's some sort of holding force that exactly balances that out. So what we're going to do is so what we're going to do is remove that holding force. That's going to cause our partition to move downwards. So let's say it moves down to here. It was up here. So this is be four meters to that halfway point. Let's call this distance x. And what we're being asked for in the problem is this total distance here, four plus x. Because we've squeezed the gas down here, that P1 is gonna be a larger force now. So I'm drawing it bigger. And P2, because of the expansion, there is gonna be smaller. So those two are not balanced anymore, but we go to a new equilibrium because now the weight of the platform is putting a pressure on the bottom gas. And that pressure due to the weight would be equal to that force mg divided by the area of the partition. Pressure is equal to force Per unit area. So we don't want to mix forces and pressures. That's like adding apples and oranges. Something else that we should take note of, you notice the number 8.3 is repeated here. It kind of looks like they chose that value of 8.3 kilograms to result in an easy simplification. So let's, let's watch out for that in the future. Okay, so we've sorted out all the information. Pause the video. See if you can finish off the problem, come back for the answer. Since our partition is at rest, the upwards pressures, the up pressures, have to balance off the down pressures. So upwards, we've just got P1. Downwards, we've got P2, plus this pressure created by the weight of the piston. Now for the pressures, we can use the ideal gas law, which says that the pressure will equal NRT all over the volume. So we'd have NRT all over V1 equals NRT all over V2 plus MG over A. This here is, of course, V2, and this here is V1. Both of these are cylinders, so we can express the volume of a cylinder as the height times the area. So we could write this as nRT divided by the area times the height. And the height for V1 is this distance here, which is gonna be four minus x. Uh, then we've got nRT V2 would be the same cross-sectional area, but this times four plus x. So we can cancel out those areas and then we're seeing these NRTs, and the R's, you'll recall, are equal to 8.3, and the M's are equal to 8.3. So we should be able to 
do some simplifying. NRT is going to equal 0.1 times 8.3 times 300. And MG will equal 8.3 times 10, which is 83. So this here is going to be 3 times 83, whereas this one is just 83. So let's put that in. 3 times 83 all over 4 minus x equals 3 times 83 over 4 plus x plus 83. So of course the 83s are going to cancel out. That makes things simpler. I'll bring these two terms to the same side and I'll get 3 over 4 minus x minus 3 all over 4 plus x equals 1. So just a bit of algebra left to do here. We want to notice that 4 minus x and 4 plus x represent a difference of squares. So what we're going to do is get a common denominator here. That would be 16 minus x squared. Here we'll have 3 times this denominator, 4 plus x. And we've got to subtract off 3 times the other denominator, 4 minus x. That should equal 1. Divide both sides by 3, you get 1 third. Then on the top, we'll have 4 minus 4 and x minus negative x. So we're going to get 2x on the top and 16 minus x squared on the bottom. Let's cross multiply. 6x must be equal to 16 minus x squared. So as a quadratic, 0 must be equal to x squared plus 6x minus 16. That factors into x plus 8 and x minus 2. So x is either equal to negative 8, not possible, or x is equal to 2. That's going to be our answer. The real answer to the question asked would be this distance here, which is going to be 4 plus x, or 4 plus 2. Let's call that the height. h would be equal to 4 plus 2 equals 6 meters. So please take the time to like videos, to make comments, to ask questions, become a subscriber, sign up for notifications, become a member or a Patreon. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.